Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering how to balance your scope and mount, and more specifically, the CEM120 mount, which is what I have, and the Edge HD scope. But this will work for just about anything, um, any mount and any scope, uh, an equatorial mount. And I think it's super important to mention that with a, a CEM mount, a, ce a center balanced mount, that you need to be pretty precise. And so we're gonna be going over the third axis as well. Funny enough, this is just a spur of the moment video. Uh, I was right in the middle of making another video when I realized that I was actually out of balance. And, and that's because I had a 294 camera on my scope and I swapped it out for a 2600 and the 2600 weighed a lot more. And I don't know why, but I didn't even think to, to rebalance afterwards. And then I went on, went ahead with my sequence and stuff and just spaced out balancing. And I struggled all night with my guiding and now I know why. So let's get started. The first thing I do is I lock up the, I lock up the RA and I just engage the gear, but you could also lock the axis. The, the thing is, is when you lock the axis, uh, it, it still has a little bit of movement and I, I don't want any movement at the moment. And what I do first is I do the, the deck axis and then I'll do the RA axis and then I'll do the, the they call the third axis, which is still the deck, but in a different position. So we need to move the telescope. Um, it's camera heavy. And luckily for me, it performs a little bit better when it's camera heavy than when it's scope heavy but it performs the best when it's completely balanced. So we're gonna check this balance out here. It didn't need a whole lot of movement. Uh, it's still a little bit heavy on the bottom. Just make another little adjustment. Still heavy on the bottom, just slightly. The 2600 is much heavier than the 29. Okay, so that's pretty good. The nice thing about the Chem 120 is that it, I mean, it almost feels like it's frictionless when it comes to, um, when it comes to balancing. Okay, so we're gonna lock the deck back in and then we'll do the RA. So I'm gonna unlock the RA and I'm gonna balance it on this side because it's easier to get to the weight. And because it's, it's almost frictionless, the slightest movements make a difference. So I'm moving this one to two millimeters at a time. So it's still scope heavy. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to tighten it down and just try it in a couple different positions. And try the other side. So I actually had a few people ask me how I got this balance so well. They were having, um, I think it was a gentleman with a Kim 70 or CEM 70 who was having some issues balancing. And I believe they're very similar uh, to the 120 and so if you notice it's this is how I balance and this seems really good now yeah I like this so I'm gonna lock this in almost parallel and then I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this again and see I, when it was facing north it looked like it was dead on but when you bring it when you bring this over now that's what they call the third axis you can see it's it's massively camera heavy still so i'm gonna unlock this and swing this back around because it's easier and i'm just going to leave it unlocked i'm going to Loosen up one of these knobs or two depending on how long your plate is and I'm just going to work with one knob And I'm just going to slightly bring it up 
make sure it still looks balanced this way. It's the slightest bit scope heavy. I'm going to test it now this way. And again, it's very slightly scope heavy. So I'm going to bring this back down. Another thing you can do if you're using a counterweight like I am here, you can lower the counterweight just slightly if you're not able to get the scope to work for you. But I'm going to try this. I'm just going to lower it a little bit. It almost feels scope heavy, but it's looking, it feels a little scope heavy still. I'm going to bring this down perpendicular and let it go. And that looks much better. So I'm going to lock the RA now. And I'm just going to see how this performs. Okay, so I'd say we're balanced. And now I think uh, if I get some images tonight, or get a chance to image tonight, I think I'm pretty sure that our gui my guiding will be much, much better than it was last night because of this. So another nice thing, as long as we're here, I wanted to point out, so I've moved all this stuff around and I don't really know if I'm in zero position or not exactly. So I'm, what I'm really loving about this uh, CEM120 is that it's got a, you, you go in and you click on zero position and say search zero position. And the sensors on this thing are really, really nice. So it's found the zero position. It asked me if I want to make any mechanical position corrections and I hit cancel because it, it looks dead on to me uh, by eyeballing it and um, this has just been fantastic to work with because I move I can move this all around and I hit a button and it goes right back to home position every single time and I don't have to tell it where home position is it just knows so I do like that a lot about this I'm just gonna make sure everything's tightened up and I'm going to go ahead and park this again because I don't, I don't want any dust gathering up here until tonight when I unpark it. And hopefully the wind will stop blowing and give me a little bit of a break from this wind. Uh, well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope this video helps. And if so, please go ahead and hit that like button so that the video will spread to more people who might be wondering about balancing issues as well. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you'd go ahead and do so because it really does help the channel grow. And if you wanna see how 3D printing can help in astrophotography, I just did a video that showcases a lot of people's work in 3D prints and some of the prints that you could buy and also some of the prints that you could print yourself if you have a 3D printer. If you wanna check that out, you could just click on this video right here.